Good evening, everybody. So I apologise I'm late on. Um, I kind of got a bit carried away playing with the kiddos. So I'm Danielle, and this is Danielle's Sweet Treats. I'm also known as the Cussin Caker. So before we start, this cake is for us. I'm not giving it to anybody. Um, I have got hay fever, so I will be scratching my face. <laughs> Just give you a heads up. So none of the arsy comments about touching my face, because it is for nobody. This is staying for us. Speaking of which, I've taken some tablets, so it should go off in a minute. Um, so today we are making an ice cream themed cake. I forgot to get some out. Oh crap! That is fine. Um, so we will be using tonight is mainly based on two things. Frozen. So the first one is cake cream by the Sugar Sisters, which you all know I love. We'll be using the bubble pink and the white. Oh, bastard face. <laughs> so yes, um, I am now a stockist of cake cream. I do white, black, red, pink and blue. So I've not got the whole range, but I've just got a bit. So today is obviously the ice cream cake. The reason I'm using cake cream is because it's nice, it keeps its shine and it looks quite lifelike. So that's why I like using that. I tried it with buttercream and it didn't look quite right. I tried it with sugar paste and I just couldn't physically do it to look right. It looked weird and it was rather heavy, but cake cream was fab. So I'm going to replicate that tonight for you. Woohoo! Um, itchy face! I can't wear a dress because Jake's in other rooms. <laughs> yeah, Jake's up watching the film. can't explain that to him. So, <laughs> yes, I just Jake's can't in explain room. that to him. So I can't, I can't. No, can't do that to lads. We said he could stay up. He's so already he... got enough problems as it is. Don't wind the dog up or you will go to bed. He has been good, so we said it's, he could stay up and watch a film in there, so he's got Pokemon on. So, obviously we're going to be using these. I'll be doing the LCO perfect cover icing again so yesterday I did the cookies which I got a little bit of a play for it just to see what I first thought I ate some of them cookies this morning and they were beautiful um, it tastes really really nice so that's a big thumbs up fucking nose sorry again this cake's for us it's for no one else <laughs> I have taken antihistamine, it will go in a minute. Um, and I'm sorry for the humming, it's my air con, so I'm absolutely roasting. Sorry for four minutes, my drink. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. I'm going to get really annoyed. Oh, I'm going to get really annoyed with this really quick <laughs> Good one, Mark. Get a little one to stay up as a distraction so you don't have to do it. It weren't my idea for him to stay up. It was mine. He actually forgot about it and then I reminded him we had video evidence of this. Of the thing that he suggested. Was you that um, it wasn't. Okay, so LCO perfect perfect cover. It's absolutely fabulous. Mark or Lizzie, if you're there, pop up the link for where people can buy it. I believe it's $14.99 on offer for the whole five kilogram tub. Um my first thoughts on it yesterday is it's gonna be fabulous for um shaped cakes round corners and things because it's really soft so obviously if you like a stiff paste from what I figured yesterday um, it's maybe not perfect for you for stiff cakes and stiff sugar paste and covering cakes however hands down it'll be great for modelled cakes and shaped that's from what I figured already but we're going to play with that and see how it coats being coloured and what I think to it on the cake and how it is like that Okay, so we may as well start. But again, I'm sorry if I keep touching my face. Hay fever's kicked off. I have taken antihistamine. The cake is just for us. I will lick it if I need to. <laughs> if I need to prove a point, I will lick it. Someone wants to know where she can get your packs from. My packs? So these have been made with my packs. Um, they're available on my website, which is www.daniellessweettreats.co.uk. In the top left corner of your screen is a little rectangle with a box inside it. If you press that, then scroll down my page, you'll see the post. If you read all the words, my website is linked into that, so then you can just click that, because I know a lot of people struggle with it. It's not the shortest of websites. So, there's a couple of things that we need to do, is obviously whip up the cake cream, so I'm going to cover the cake in the cake cream, then wrap in sugar paste, and then decorate the top. 
So I'll get that going and then I can level the cakes off. My nose is killing me. <laughs> it's really annoying me. What a fucking idiot. It's not been this bad for ages. Uh, yeah, I need that out. I can't concentrate because of it. And I apologise if I seem a bit like out of it. I've had quite a lot of coding. <laughs> so it might take me a minute to click onto things. Oh, my nose. Oh, for God's sake. Fuck off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so whisk attachment. And first we're going to make... Shove some tampons up there. It's tempting, but it's not runny. It's itchy. Otherwise, I would shove tampons up it. Okay. It's a good rocket into it, babe. Oh. No. It's better than what you're doing now. You got sound effects. Shut up. Okay. So for a 400 gram bag, um, I am going to mix it 300 to 100 to make the light pink because I don't have the light pink in here. You can mix them together to make different colours like I showed previously on one of the lives booths to show how to make the purple. That dust got up in me. Oh God. What? Ew, Shut up. Dust. Dust. Okay, so I'm doing 300 to 100 of the pink. So cake cream, I do now stock, which I'm really excited about. Over 50 odd bags sold in less than three days, and I've had to put another order through today. It's being posted today, so I should get it by tomorrow or the day after, and then I'll be able to ship that all straight back out. Yeah, it's vanilla. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. So. It is all on the website ready for you to buy. You watching Netty Bombetti? What's that? What? Oh, unless it, they've tagged someone. Are you watching? And then tagged someone to watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Here we are. Netty Bombetti. Yeah. Am, uh -huh. <laughs> what was in the first bag? It's it's all cake cream. The first one was white and this one's pink. I'm just mixing it together to make a bit of a lighter pink. Bit of pink for dads. Okay. So I'm just making sure I'm getting my quantities right because I don't want to be off and wrong on a live. Last thing I want. Hi Dan, I was just catching up on last night's live and realised you're on now. <laughs> well, everything I'll be loading to YouTube later on. You play. Okay, so I'm just double checking on the bag um, for the quantity of butters because I, I don't know it off by heart. Um, okay, so four, five, four grams of butter. Hi guys, new here. That's Stephanie Remnick. Hi Stephanie. God help you. <laughs> Welcome to the Madhouse. Right. Oh. right. Four, five, four. No elbows. There will be no elbows. Well, I can't promise anything. <laughs> Greetings from San Diego. Hi. I love cake. I like cake. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um. So I'm not just chucking rubbish on the floor, there is a bin on the other side. Oh yeah. Yeah. Blanket. I'm going to do a bit. <laughs> so what are we making tonight? What Ice you, cream. What are you hey. drinking tonight? I am drinking a blend of shit cheap vodka. <laughs> you ran out of hay? I drank, oh. I drank that last night. Oh, I must okay. have drank a bit. Okay. Yeah, it's shit cheap Sainsbury's vodka, so here we go. Have so, your tapes marked down to the chair tonight so we can't bump anything. <laughs> no, not yet, guys. Okay, so there's 450 foot. 254 grams of butter to 400 grams of the cake cream. We'll pop that in the mixer and get that combined first. What's the best butter to use? Salted butter. Do you store your butter on the side or in the fridge? Uh, you get fuck off box. <laughs> no, that's a different butter. Oh. Um, usually in the fridge and then I take it out to come to room temperature beforehand. So you need this to be really soft. With the heat, it's really soft anyway. If it's not soft for you, then pop it in the microwave in 10 second bursts. You want it, sorry, it's your face. You want it warm enough so your finger goes through it. You just want to combine the butter and the uh, cake 
drinking alcoholic strawberry milkshake. Ooh, that sounds cool. Didn't okay. you put almost two packs in? Yes, almost two packs of butter. But if you go to Sainsbury's, they have a big 500, kil 500 gram block, so that's easier to use. So just making sure it's all off the sides and all in. So this product, it is water activated, so it is like a light pinkish at the minute, just until I add water and then it'll come to colour. So pop that back on the scales and we want 250 ml of water. So actually no, I don't need that. What am I doing? So I'm just going to do this. Where Wait. are you located? I would love a cave. Nottinghamshire will work, so. <clears throat> so it's 250 mils of water. I'm just measuring it into there and then I'll put it in the jug after. Do you not do the water and cake cream first? It, that was the old way. Emily since found an easier way. So get this mixing on high and then you dribble in the water. It stops it from separating or any of the problems that we had before. Um, Emily was fantastic to realise. <laughs> so you literally dribble it in slowly.
a bit pale. Not great, but I'll manage. Is the recipe in the pack? It's on the back of the pack. It's just loud as fuck, isn't it? Can't I know it's loud, clean. but I've got it on high to get it done quicker, whereas I'll put the other one on low. Right, just this last bit of water in, and then we are done and ready to start. Thank goodness. <laughs> Now, let's have a look. Did we do a chocolate cake cream? Believe it or not, Emily is in the works for making a chocolate one, I believe. So it shouldn't be long, I'm presuming, knowing how quick Emily is. And are you going to put your spatulas on them? Sorry. Yes, I'm just waiting for the laser to arrive. I did have one. And, laser? Yeah, I've got a little mini laser on the way to engrave my spatulas and stuff. So I did order one, spent quite a lot of money on one, and then all that arrived was a stand, a little plastic stand, and they said that's what I ordered, so I've had to reorder one. Thank God for PayPal is all I'm going to say, I, could, I got my money back. Okay. okay, so what I'll do is I'll put the white mix on medium in the back, so then hopefully it's not so loud for anyone else. Okay. What? What's up? No. Nope, Shaggy. What's wrong, Jake? Alright, okay, baby. Mm. 
Right, Mum. All right, well, Mummy's just working. Can Mummy finish working, baby? Want some of the string? No. <laughs> okay, we'll do Pokemon tomorrow. We will do Pokemon tomorrow, I promise. Okay then, so a couple of things about cake cream. Cake cream is essentially a Swiss meringue buttercream mix. If you've ever made Swiss meringue from scratch, it is absolutely horrible to make. I always screw it up and it just takes forever to make and then to get it perfect to use on cakes. Whereas this, it's lovely, glossy and ready. It, that was really quick compared to making it fresh and then it's next to foolproof by doing the powder and butter first and then adding your water it's foolproof but it's also got a lot of other uses so if any of you watched me do my flamingo it makes meringues it makes macarons which emily did a live on last thursday about it on the sugar sisters facebook page and honestly it is amazing stuff i've never been able to do meringues or macarons in my life but this stuff's made it possible which is fantastic and honestly it's such a good thing to have in your pantry if you also remember i did salted caramel brownies with the salt with the flavored ones there's loads of colors loads of flavors available so all the colored ones are vanilla the flavored ones are obviously flavored but all the colors are vanilla the flavors are white so then you can color them yourself and do what you need to do but you can bake with them you can make mousses as well um, I made brownies they're really nice cupcakes so if any of you have ever been to Starbucks the raspberry and white chocolate with cream cheese cupcake muffin things I tried to replicate that and I hit the nail on the head with the recipe I can pop that up again later on but honestly Emily you've created a fucking amazing product and I'm so proud swearing I don't care you'll offend the neighbours it's my page to screw yeah. so I'm really lucky to be able to stop this from Emily, Emily and I'm even more proud to be a friend so yeah it's fantastic kiss stuff. ass fuck off <laughs> Right, can you put sugar flare colour into it? Yes, you can, my yeah, darling. Right. Is the cake cream available in the US? Um, so, for international orders, go to www.cake, that slash in the middle, cream.com. Um, she does distribute worldwide from there. Um, just be aware, the more you've got, the heavier the parcel, the more expensive the postage will be. It's all based on weight. Okay, so now I've got that to start. Emily says thanks Daniel with me hearts. <coughs> Love you! And then Sarah Sims is just laughing at her. Laughing at her. I know, stop it with Jake. Jake, stop it. They're fighting. Again. Are you playing with my No, I'm just again? fine. Does the cake cream firm up like normal buttercream when you cover a cake? Um, you can pop it in the fridge and firm. Stop with everything. I just found that off there, won't. So you can set it up in the fridge and firm it, and then cover it with sugar paste. That's absolutely fine. But it also makes lots of other type of buttercream. So there's, it makes normal buttercream, uh, Italian Swiss meringue, normal Swiss meringue, and Korean style, which Emily also did a live on that on cake flakes. So you're gonna make Emily cry, she says. You upset her. Have you received your delivery yet? <laughs> I expect to see them on your next slide. Okay, so I'm just gonna level the top. These, this is chocolate from my recipe. I think I left it in too long. No, I didn't, that's perfect. Um, but these are from my packs, so I can't give you the chocolate recipe as it's a paid for item from my packs, which a lot of you I already know have. So I'm going to pop it on so a five inch. What I know, Matt, silicon mat. Silicon mat's dropped down. How come I've only seen it now on my phone? Because you're 30 seconds. I didn't see it. You're and I'm there. You're 30 seconds behind. I can't believe it. Okay. So I do use silicon moulds. It's so much easier. Here's one I made earlier. 
She says she hasn't got it. Fingers crossed, it arrives tomorrow. I hope so. I can't wait to see it. It matches the kitchen perfectly. I got her some goodies. You know what I'm like when I sleep by. When you what? When I'm half asleep and I go sleep shopping. Sleep by. Yeah, so when I'm half asleep and I go shopping for things. I do the same with cars and stuff like that. No, but that is how you end up with a motorbike. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit to the bottom just to help attach the drum. The reason I'm using a drum is so it's easier for me to pick up and move later on. Is there a big muffin case? A what? Is there a big muffin case? Uh, yes, giant cupcake. It's a giant cupcake mould. And you and Sim are all watching. Hi guys. <laughs> so I'm just adding a little bit to the middle. So cool. the price of the powder okay so i have the 400 gram packs which is these ones and um, it does 36 cup frosts 36 cupcakes or covers a eight inch round cake and they're eight pounds each but um you can get about 45 full macarons from it you can get loads of meringues honestly it does stretch a long way like qvc this isn't it for cakes kind of isn't it? but i'm not I'm not purposefully aiming to sell anything, I'm just the fact that... Do you I'm use your moulds? No, I keep trying to get it to. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the... I've got to find it yet, actually. And you say... I'm I use Fry Light, so that is fabulous. I spray the mould with that and then want to roll. What's wrong? Someone just said, and you say, I'm from Liverpool. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't get it, I'm sorry, I'm a bit blonde today. I've had oh, quite right. a lot of coding, so things are just going whoosh. Oh, thunderstorms just arrived here in Blackpool. Do you know when you went to the shop, it started looking really dark? And like because night time were coming, though. No, not night time. There's a difference between night time and fucking clouds. Whereabouts is your shop? Okay, so I don't have a shop. It's On the all internet. Online based. Fry light is good stuff. You use that one, don't you? you yes, that's what I'm just showing them. Yeah, you use a lot of that, don't you? Go. Yes. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to use a little bit, pop it on. Because I don't want crumbs in that, I'm just going to chuck it on and go from there. So just a small crumb coat ready to add some sugar paste. Mark, sorry, I meant to say, can you say to us, I'm from Liverpool? Oh, they want your accent. They're all saying they like how you do accents the other day. I'm from Liverpool. Alright. How does Eddie speak? Accent. Scouts. Yeah, they like how... Don't matter. I'm not even... I'm not with it today. Liverpool. Mark, how do I get rid of seeing the comments preventing me seeing what Daniel is doing? Okay, swipe so to right. swipe to your right on your screen. Bit of swipe. Bit of swipe, hot lads. Oh dear me. So I'm just shoving it everywhere just to even the cover. Oh, yeah. Come to Liverpool and I'll teach you. What? What? Teach, teach what? Teach who? I'm getting lost here now. <laughs> That's a different person though. Is the cake you. cream better than another similar product as it seems more in fries? Um, well this has been out since last October and to be honest I love this. I've not used the other one so I cannot comment on that. I can't comment on it because I've not used it. Do you live stream to YouTube? Um, no, I don't live stream to YouTube, I upload it up afterwards. Covid. You've not got Covid. <clears throat> oh right, teach me how to speak Scouse. Yeah, I don't want to know. I've got to make that up, so I've just turned it up a bit. How would you make that into piñata cake? Take the middle out with a cut and slice it, label it, and just take circles out.
you both it's better than TV <laughs> fabulous what tin size recipe did you use I have your packs but unsure on which one to use oh, I'll speak to you soon okay so I use a 375 gram mix right so a nine inch cake are you going to show your face tonight Mark I might do later when I'm walking back I'm going to put my elbow in somewhere I will kill you. She will kill you if you touch it. Yes, she will. What if I accidentally brush past it? I will kill you. So, right, so that, that is nearly done. Let me just quickly get that out of the way and then the noise is done for the rest of the night. <laughs> that I need to check if uh, someone's going. How do I do that? 
How much fondant are you using? Um, I'm not sure. So I just make some up, roll with it, and then whatever's left over I give the kids to play with or I'll wrap it for something else. I'm going to use that for one more minute and then it's time to turn off. in the fridge before covering in fondant. Yes. We do said I really need to because I'm not fully covering it, I'm just gonna panel. Connie Chadwick, leave the vodka alone and you won't have an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Sod that one. What aircon did you get? And um, one from B and Q it had 75 quid off, it was fabulous, it's fabulous. You told me 100 quid off. I thought it was 100, but I miscalculated. I was half asleep when I bought it. You miscalculated? Well, it tells you in black and white on form. I weren't really paying attention. I just wanted a fucking haircut. All right. How do you know when the cream is done? When it's all combined together, it's still kiss me up. Have you tried the black and does it stay in your mouth or out? I like um, that or out. I have tried the black. It was really good. I've never been able to get it cake buttercream so black in my life um not without using a hell of a lot and causing a lot of tummy troubles <laughs> um, if you use too much colouring you get the shit yeah yeah just give that a mix um what was the question again have i, I used black and some or out let me, let me go back up have you tried the black and does it stay in your mouth or out? Okay, so it doesn't, <laughs> when I gave it me and my little one, it didn't stay in his mouth as much as when you use paste. Does that make sense? So it does a little bit, it's not as much as using normal pastes because there's not a lot of colour in there compared to if you do it yourself. The products Amy use, Emily uses is absolutely fantastic. Will my task crack be making an appearance tonight? No, all the drinks are down there ready. Who knows? Okay, so that is all done and ready, and that's the white. What are we making? I've just tuned in. Okay. Cakes. So, <laughs> cake. So, we're making an ice cream themed cake using oh, <laughs> cake cream by Emily from Sugar Sisters. And I'm also using a new paste to me as a bit of a review, which is LCO Trading's Perfect Cover. So, after giving it a little colour and a little roll and a play, it's really, really soft which for me is really good because I've always loved Select Island. I love a soft paste. If you like stiff pastes, this probably isn't, you probably wouldn't be too happy with it because you like stiff. This is really soft and stretchy as you can see. Um, it's coloured fantastically well. It's not 
broke up and changed in any consistency so it's accepted the colour fantastically which a lot of brands can't say that that's just fab I'm really happy with that it's really soft but no matter what type of paste you like to use I feel for shaped cakes spheres and round corners and things this is fucking amazing it's not staying like that though just because of temperature in here is it no no babe I've got aircon behind me at 16 degrees you make 16 sound like it's like arctic it's not compared to what it has been it's normal it's arctic compared to what it has been it's good okay so, sweating like a pig, it's horrible. That's nice. I know. But it's my cake, no one else is having it, just me. Checking like a shitting dog. <laughs> That's what I'll be saying later. Okay, so I'm using. <laughs> Giga Day. <laughs> that wasn't a Giga Day. Oh, right. What was um, it? I say it when I use my sweet stamps. Oh, so, nice. this is a Wilton pouch. I've just got corn flour in it. The reason I use corn flour is because. It absorbs moisture so that's great whereas if you use icing sugar it'll go sticky and hot and mitten against your hands and it's the only thing you could get your hands on when people started raiding shells no you couldn't I've struggled for that as well right so I've just rolled a nice long sausage <laughs> I like sausages you've just had I'm only saying I like sausages so I'm just gonna roll it out a little bit because this is going to make the waffle cone the base of the cake. I was wondering if that was the air con jewel. Yeah. Is that fondant similar to any other brand? So it's very similar to um, Select Island, I'd say. They're both very soft brands. But this, it's. I'm really impressed with how it is so far from what I've played with. It's rolling brilliantly it's took colour brilliantly i'm really impressed with it okay so if you get any air bubbles in it it is not down to the brand i will always say this for anything you use if you get bubbles in your sugar paste it's down to how you have rolled and kneaded it you've basically pushed air into it but it's no problem get yourself some acupuncture needles i think they're about a quid from amazon for five or you can get them from the great cake warehouse stocks them as well they're really good the hole is literally minuscule so you don't even have to rub over it to hide any holes but you just pop the bubble push the air out where did you get the wilton pouch amazon you got uh, it, i got it from amazon but you can get them from anywhere i believe sugar sisters also has their own version sugar sister. well that's what i was told to say at cake international anyway okay so it's taking my smoother and just making sure it's level where are you based Nottinghamshire. Nottinghamshire, where we're yeah, Sheffield. Okay. So I'm just getting my meter ruler. Oh, it's not a meter. No, I don't care. Wrong fucking ruler. Quick. Quick. Where's my craft knife? I lost it. I have as well. I've lost my craft knife. Shit. I had someone earlier. Yeah, I'm... The scalpel thing? Yeah. I saw it earlier on there. I did as well, but I've lost it. I think that's what I was juggling with. Probably. Sorry guys, I just want to... There it is. Put it in the wrong hole. Okay. So, just going to make it nice and straight on the bottom. Are you going to Cake International in Birmingham in November? would love to meet you. Yes, hopefully I am going, whether it's for the day or for the weekend. Um, so the thing is, if Amy Coyle for Sweet Stamp is going with the big stand and everything, then I will be working for Amy. I will be on the stand and demonstrating as normal. If she's not going, then I'll be going for the day and probably walking around being a bitch with Beth. <laughs> my best friend, she was my bridesmaid, and she's also the admin on my group. Okay. I'm about 20 minutes drive from you too. Okay. Oh, fab. It's nice to know there's a lot of bakers near me. And Grout, she's from Redford. She said earlier, I'm sure she did. Okay, so I'm just going to straight one edge. Well, straight both edges actually. Who knew a giant ass rule from being cured would be perfect? Okay. In the wrong hole. What? <laughs> oh yes, uh, my scalpel was in the wrong hole in my storage oh, unit. Oh right, okay. Let me just 
before I pulled it off the baseboard. Okay, guys. God, I almost miss loads of this while I'm sat here. You do. You admit it. Yes, so you don't actually watch me. <laughs> you don't know a thing, apparently. Yes, I do. You answered one question. How long have we been doing these? You are. I answered one question. You, you admitted yes, so you've only answered one what question. question. You admitted yes, so you only answered one question. What is the knife tool you use? It's a scalpel. You can rob Craft them, knife. You can rob them from any doctor's surgeries, hospitals. <laughs> No, um, I know P this is a PME one. You can get them off Amazon or a lot of large suppliers stock them. So Sugar and Crumbs had them, Cake Stuff had them, Vanilla Ballet, Crazy About Cake Craft. Right, okay, so with a small rolling pin, I'm gonna roll it up. I live round the corner from NEC. Can't wait to come to Cake International, my first time. I wouldn't like to live near it. Not Poor you for all traffic. Mark has to come do a cake off with Andrew. Who's Andrew? You Who told me that? it's your friend Emily. Oh, Andrew took me a minute, yes. Yes, Andrew is Emily's partner. That'd be so fun. Why is he crap with cake and all? <laughs> I can eat it. I'm pretty good at eating it. As long as there's no mayo in it. Brilliant. Okay, so just popping it on the cake. Smooth down the bit that's gone on. Just like that, look. And then slowly... I can't do it that way, I'm sorry, I'm gonna to have to do it so you can't see it properly. Slowly unravel it around. Poundland do craft knives. Oh, fantastic. Do they really? Okay, so when we get to there and we've overlapped that join, just cut the excess off so you don't drag too much. Uh, yeah, I mean, did you use a cupcake mold or did you carve to the shape? I used a giant cupcake mold, my darling, the silicon one. Okay, so peel that bit back to start with, just be careful not to mark it. And using your thumb, just push that bit in so it's not up and protruding too much. Okay? Good word, duck. Okay. And then, like. Last time I watched, he put his arm in your cake. Yes. It's funny it that, because that was the last time we were here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time he was here. Carol Burnett says, I love your apron, I don't need one like it. Oh, thank you. Well, I do stock all the aprons, they are on my website. If you want plain ones, I'll tell you where you can get plain ones. Or I can do it a lot cheaper for just a plain one, but I do customise them. Okay, so at this point, just taking a round cutting tool, or the craft knife, whichever you want. I just want to mark it, so it's kind of slanted like a proper wafer cone, how it is on the side, and then cut it with the scalpel. remove the excess and then with water and a brush just wet the flap and then stick it on <laughs> yep i shouldn't be here <laughs> god why do things like that make me choke because you're a man <laughs> with these lads, with you. okay so using smoother just smooth everything down Oh, laughing face. Oh, laughing. for God's sake, I shouldn't be allowed out in public. <laughs> There's a reason you work nights. Yeah. <laughs> Wet flaps, yeah. Oh, Lisa Meeling laughed as well. Brilliant. I'm glad someone else is immature. 30 going on 13. Brilliant. again obviously if you don't want to get anything popping out the bottom do set it in the fridge first but because i want to be quick to show you everything i'm not bothering setting anything in the fridge where do you work mark <laughs> i'm not even sure <laughs> newspaper print center looks like a very pliable sugar plate it is right, it's very it soft it is very soft and it looks like it does manage really well i'm really happy with that and kelly pillin says i think my post is nicked my apron um i'm not sure please remember for, pa for the past two weeks i've been extremely poorly so i've not been touching anything so i've only literally just got back into working so there is a little bit of a delay 
but I will get to everything as soon as possible. As soon as it's posted, you will receive an email saying it's been posted. So if you haven't got your fee mail, then... Yeah. Unfortunately, you've been held up. Okay. So... I'm going to take a normal size ruler and then following the angle from the flap, in simple words, you want to just indent just very carefully the lines that you're going to carve. Was you well, not carve, but draw in with the thingy tool. Was you in trouble when you put your arm in the cake? Yes, he was. We didn't speak till the next day. <laughs> oh, only because you fell asleep. No, I finished the cake and then I went to bed. On purpose. You weren't mad, you were more disappointed and that makes it I worse. I was upset. That makes, well, disappointment is worse than being mad, isn't okay. it? Okay, so then take the, it's not quilting tool, it's just a round one. Very carefully, go down the lines. So if you don't want to draw the lines on with these, you can get the gem strip cutter, which I do have and I cannot think where the fuck it is. Otherwise, that's what I used on the photo. No. So I couldn't find it, so that's why I resorted to this. So just very carefully, make sure you follow the line. You don't have to worry if it's not perfectly neat, because really what ice cream cone is perfectly neat. A 99. That costs £1.29. That actually upsets you, doesn't it? It's not a 99, is it? Mark, I would have slapped you. Yeah, I nearly slapped him. I nearly threw the cake at him, but then I'd have had to clean it up myself. Only thing is, slapping me, you know, it's a trigger, isn't it? I'm not going to pervert. No, I don't know what you're saying. Fuck off. So, I'm just putting the lines on here the opposite way round. Danielle, thank you, lovely. You kindly gave me some tips for a recipe for the giant cupcake a few weeks ago. Oh, fab. It came out fantastic and the customer was over the moon. Caroline Bolton. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, sorry, I'm just concentrating on these bits so I don't screw it up. Because as the cake cream's warm underneath, I am likely to make a big mistake and screw it all up. So I'm just being very careful. Just one second. You're so right, Mark. My boys hate if we say we are disappointed with them. Much more than if we're angry and they get a bollocking. Yeah, whenever my mum, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. All right, stab me why don't you? That's what. That's you may as well. You would have enjoyed it. Yeah. Bastard inflation. It's like Freddo frogs and Tempe mixers. Don't even get me started. So I'm just making sure it's nice and flat again because I bumped it up. Obviously, because I'm not set it in the fridge so it's firm. Same as any buttercream really, or any ganache. Uh, and then make sure that is nice and flat. There. Yes, I'm, I'm going to airbrush it. Fuck it. As you say, sugar paste is soft and pliable. Does it hold its shape when you lifted it to put on the cake? Yeah, it, it was nice and stretchy. Um, it did stretch a bit more when I lifted it. So I would recommend lifting it up with another tool or something else. So I usually wrap. When I've rolled it out in a circle, I usually put a cling film roll in the middle, roll it up, fingers in the edges and roll back over the cake. Mm -hmm. So that's probably the best option to do. Um, it is very, very soft, I will not lie, but that's the type of sugar paste I like. It tastes fantastic, it's colouring brilliantly. Um, with it being so soft, when I do my classes and everything again regarding like my you know, stitch cake or anything, I will be recommending you buy this. So for my modelled cakes, I usually use Tesco, believe it or not, because it's so soft and I can blend it really easily. I'll be reckon recommending this in future. I haven't had my order yet, but I know you haven't been well. Can I order some sweet stamps to be posted with it? Um, I've only got the sweet stamp um, cutting words in. I don't stock any other sweet stamps. But more than fine, pop me a message and we can sort that. So I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. Go on. I'm just bringing out the edge of the sugar paste from the top, what's on top. That way it looks like it's an actual cone with everything inside it. Danielle, you should have a TV show and mark with a commentator like the guy off Come Dine with me. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> that 
that'd be really funny. Can you do the quilt effect on ganache? I think that's supposed to say ganache. Yes, you can do it on ganache, that's fine. Just make sure it's set before you do anything. If you do it while it's still a bit soft, it'll not go great. You need it rock solid and then, yeah, just do it on a hard cake. When are you dressing up? He's Never. not because Jake is awake Never. watching Pokemon. He's been really, really good boy, so we said he could watch his Pokemon tonight while Mummy did some work. I don't want to be the one to explain to a seven year old boy that his dad's a wearing a dress. Wearing a dress, yeah. We don't want to explain that to him. It might confuse him. And then we'll never live it down because he'll be telling all his teachers, My daddy wears dresses! Oh, she she wanted to order some swear stamps instead. Oh, yes, the swear stamps, the sweary sweet stamps. The sweet stamps that I had made with Amy, which is swearing, they're the only ones that I stock and they're exclusive to me because they're mine. Um, yes, if you pop me a message, we can sort that and I'll make sure to pop that in with your order. Right. Is I'm Julie get coming back on? Julie will be back on another time with her daughter and looking after her granddaughter. She'll, she struggles for when to do it. So when she's got time, she's going to let me know and she's going to come back on and we're going to have her on here rather than the cussing caker because the cussing caker is a closed group and full of cones a lot of people struggle to get to her to watch it so we're going to put her on here where it's open to everybody uh, right how does this compare price wise with all the sugar cones? okay so it's on sale at the minute i believe for 14.99 for a five kilogram tub which is fabulous when you think tesco is two pound 20 for a kilogram so it's really good in price it's very competitive um Lizzie or Mark, if you're there, please put up the link to your website. Yeah, you're already yeah, really. Yeah. Fab, thank you, Mark. But if you could pop it again, just throughout the night, <laughs> that'd be great. Did you sell all the nooky cookie stamps? No. So, <laughs> the, my Karma Sutra Outboss, they are in um, production right now. Um, they are on the website for pre order. I only had 25 of each design. Um, so I don't know how many is left at the minute, I think there's only a couple, but they are on the website as well, which is www.danielsweetsheets.co.uk. But just also a heads up, if you decide to buy any packs, any of the recipes or anything, you have to do a separate transaction to physical goods. It doesn't accept both at the same time. So the packs are instant downloads off of the website, um, one to nine individually or bundle packs for different things for different needs. As a lot of you have got them and you all love them, it's a good investment to have. It's everything I know, all 31 recipes I have for cakes, cookies, then there's brownies, blondies, cheesecakes. There's all sorts, even gluten free and vegan recipes, which is in pack nine. So yeah, that you have to do them separately to if you want any of the cake cream or the nookie cookies. <laughs> I'm going to rename them nookie cookies. That's happening. You can pin comments so the link stays there when they comment it. Yes, but Mark's not on my phone to do that. We're not, he's not that technical. Okay, so I've got a Spectrum airbrush. It is a little bit broke, but I'm still gonna use it anyway. Ugh. There you go, someone copy and paste that. It's just pretty old. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Okay, so. Orange, yellows, purple, blue. Why the box my brown? I'm not very organised with my colours. I should have got these out beforehand, but I didn't think I was going to be airbrushing. Let's just do a bit of black. Yep, it's great. A bit of black. What? Three what? So if you don't have an airbrush, I highly recommend getting one. That works. They all work, it's just I got a bit of a fucked up one. But I've not seen anyone else complain about them. Does they it, do you still have to... Fiddle with it, yeah. I'm going to bite your airbrush in. Would you click my charger into my phone? Is it on the bottom, is it though? Yeah, do you want me to do it? Just hold it in. There you go. There we go. Yeah, but... Okay, so... The best airbrush colours, I know we're wiggling, I've just plugged the thing in the phone. The best airbrush colours are Spectrum, the alcohol ethanol versions, and Rainbow Dust. This little bottle goes such a long way, it's unbelievable, you hardly need any. Okay, 
How do I pin this comment here? People? You can't pin it. You've got to do it from mine and I've got to do it before we do the live. It's a lot of messing around and I just haven't got that. Okay. Oh, I'm so pleased you're using airbrush. I've just got one so we're going to see how to use it. It's really easy. The best thing to do is get a kid's colouring book and practice in them. Yeah, if you can stay in lines then you've done well. Yeah. But I'm not very good at airbrushing at all. No, but just, just watch walls in a minute. Shut up. You don't actually see anything until you clean spray, it up. It's everywhere. Black spray on white walls. That would be brilliant. Man. So I have got to faff with my airbrush. I need to buy a new one. I took Danielle's advice and tried Trex in buttercream. It was so smooth. It is smooth. And that sort of symbol. Great. Right, I'll just be one second. It takes me a minute to get it going. Because it's forked. I think it got fanged in posting. So have a bit of kitchen roll next to you to just put it on. We bought it from that Lakeland place, didn't we? No, that was a different one, darling. Right. And just very, very slightly pull the trigger back. Spectrum and which, please? It's Spectrum Airbrush. So I love their airbrush colours, the ethanol versions, because they do water based and ethanol based. Ethanol based dries really, really quickly, so it's bad. But rainbow dust colours <laughs> are to die for. I love them and they go such a long way. You could spray more. No, it's probably best that I don't. So just very, very slightly. Do we do like an angel dust one as well? A what? They do rainbow dust, don't they? Did they do an angel dust? Stop putting me off. I've got to concentrate, baby. I'm not very good at airbrushing. <laughs> oh no, it was it. He scored it. Fucking twat! Watch me drink. Don't put me off, it's struggling me and it makes me jump. <laughs> Fucking kill you. I'm awful at airbrushing. Unless it's full colours, I'm not great, but. Table. You can use a brown, but the brown that I've got isn't tremendous. I need to get a new one. Just nice and steady. Make sure you're doing the crack bit there, and then just a little bit of shadowing around the bottom. Shadowing. Said it looks like it's a little bit tilted in. And then a little bit around the top as well. I read that as you could spray mark, not you could spray mark. All right, yeah. Okay, there we go. Do you mix the paint with anything? No. Nope. You should do close-up camera work. Yeah. No, nope, then I'll scare you. It's not Halloween. You should do a live where Mark designs and decorates a cake. He's been wanting a monster themed cake for ages. Okay. You know what? The cake I, I think you should do. What? I'm not sure I can say it. I mean. Say whatever you want, my darling. Cannabis infused cake. No, I don't want to do one of them. Because I don't want to see It's CBD. becoming the in thing, innit? I don't want to do a CBD cake. It's becoming the end thing though, isn't it? I know. People are doing all sorts of food. So make sure you wipe your surfaces after before it dries. And then you'll see it everywhere. Usually I put a little box up or you can get airbrush tents with a little ventilation thing on them. Can you really? They're amazing, yeah. Because now when I clean my mirror and my phone and the table and everything's going to have a layer of black on it. 
and you won't see it until you clean up either. Well, there's not that much everywhere. I've been really careful. Okay, so we're on to the fun part. <sighs> So, piping bags. If you don't have a holder, use a pint glass. I've got shite everywhere. That's disgusting. I don't even like that, you fucking dirty bastard. I'm from Cardiff. That's Hi! Right. Cannabis tray bakes, 50 quid where I am. Jesus! I'm presuming it's expensive to get old off CBD, like proper stuff to cook with. Well, no, because you can just go to no, but I mean, Holland and Barrett, can't you? And it's oh, in so bottles yeah, yeah. for like 25 quid for however much you get. I don't, I don't know. I bet it's expensive to bake with, though. Yeah, but who wants that part of it? You want the other part of it, don't you? I don't know. Well, that would. Okay. So, you don't have to bother about nozzles on these. Same as any piping, if you've got any bubbles in there, Spank your bag and it'll distribute the air bubbles so it'll not do the burpy bit when you're piping which can ruin everything especially when it comes to max. After right. cleaning the airbrush and cup do we need to let it air dry before packing it out? I don't, I just stick it straight back in the box. Just shove it in? Yeah. You're probably supposed to but I just put it straight back in the box and I've never had a problem with that. So I run it under, you can get proper cleaning fluid which is great but I usually just pop it under hot water. Um, Pull the trigger back while holding your finger on the end and it clears it out. So you just keep going like, blah, blah. I know it's stupid. I'm with Mark on this one. Here's the CBD part calms you down, doesn't it? You can have it, you want the, the THC to get the buzz off it and then, then I'll pay 50 quid. Or you can just go and buy a 10 bit off a corner and bake with that. Well, that's all they're doing then. I don't know. Okay, so this is the white. I'm just going to pop some of this in the bag as well. So, like I said, I'm going to use three colours. One Monster Energy Cake. Would you be able to do that? What? Like a Monster Energy Cake. If you want a Monster Energy Cake, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, saying I want, I'm not saying I want one. Would, would, would it be possible? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So, you wouldn't need to put much sugar in it, would you? No. Okay, so there's some white there. Spank your bag. <laughs> when I, whenever I do that, it makes me feel safe. <laughs> Minya. Whoa! I'm just not going to talk. Mark, not safe for the bag. <laughs> oh my fucking god, here we go. I'm just moving things out of the way because I'm going to need the microwave in five minutes. Every time I watch your live, I leave with a shot bin lens. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to. Mark's not safe with the vodka. I am, I really am, genuinely am safe with it. What do you use to get white cream? So, all... Left hand. You can get it in the white, which is absolute... I've just clicked onto that, you dirty fucker. <laughs> sorry, no. <laughs> oh, dear me. This is why I work now, this. Yes, it is. Um, so, you can get it in white, which is already vanilla, or the flavoured ones are all white as well. Um, all the coloured ones are also vanilla flavoured. Right, um, they do at the moment contain, the vanilla flavoured ones do at the minute contain a little bit of alcohol with the vanilla flavouring, but Emily is in the process, once this batch of vanilla has gone, she is ordering in one that does not contain alcohol, so it will be great for that as well. If you're worried for religious reasons or just the fact that you've got kids or anything. But to be quite honest, you can't taste any alcohol or anything. If you wanted it really white, would you just add white now? <laughs> Emily? <laughs> um, so Emily is in the process of making a really, really, really white one. If you don't have an airbrush, would you advise using dust to do the wafer line? You can dust it, that's absolutely fine. So I've just added a little bit of colour splash to make a bit of a green for mint chocolate ice cream. Okay. 
There are a lot of rules. Oh, hold on a minute. This is just going to do me editing because comments are flying. There are a lot of rules and regulations with CBD edibles. It has to be a very low THC content to be classed as CBD, but it'd be fantastic as a painkiller. I have fibromyalgia. Yeah, fibromyalgia. And That's it what is we thought fab, I had. But the oils, it tastes foul. Ew. All right. Well, okay then. That's fair enough. What's so, fibromyalgia? Is that the it's constant a pain, pain? Constant pain condition. So I've just had a little bit of colour splash and it's a lovely mint green. When's the next live? Um, I've not thought that far. <laughs> Let me so, finish this one first. So I'm doing this one and then um, tomorrow Beth will be doing one who is, she's my best friend and my admin, she'll be doing one tomorrow. And I believe her little boy wants to try and do the comments to copy bless him. When's Mark coming on? I'm here. He's here. Um, and then we've got someone else at the end of the week. So we're just getting me and Beth out of the way and then I'll advertise everything else. But at the end of the week is BDSM bear models, which is just fucking hilarious. It's what? The BDSM bears. All the fuck teddies you showed me the over there. The fuck teddies. Yeah, I showed them <laughs> you this morning, didn't I? Oh, this morning? Yes. Oh, yeah. Like so I will advertise that at the end of the week and then Julie might be coming on another time. So I have got a lot of people lined up. I've even got Dominica Dobeck, who is Dome. She's going to come on at some point and show you how to use the moulds of hers. And also they're just absolutely fantastic. I cannot make a figure to save my life. Those moulds have saved my life. Yeah, there'll be a lot. How many are you watching? 538. Wow, I didn't expect that many, especially for this. <laughs> so just chopping the edges off the bag. As big or small as you want, it doesn't quite matter. Jack Booth is watching. Hi Jack. That can't be good, can it? <laughs> no. Okay. So in a second you're gonna want a mug or a bowl with hot water in. So boil your kettle. Get a mug. You've got one. I'm just sat here. Where did I put my... Okay. Nope. What's Beth doing on her live? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> so you want a palette knife, you mug it with hot water, some kitchen roll. Oh, if you're from Yorkshire, kitchen royal. Right, so I'm just going to boil the water. So while that's boiling, you take your cake cream and you blob it up. You don't have to make them perfectly big and round. Just do blobs because we're going to shape them with the palette knife. It doesn't matter if it hangs over the sugar paste because it's an ice cream bowl, of course it hangs over at some point. Did I hear you say you can add to an order by messaging them yet? If you message me, yes, depending what it is. So if it's sweet stamps or cake cream, for example, that's absolutely fine. Just pop me a private message and I'll see what I can do. Preferably, I'd rather you do it all through the website so then everything's in one place for me. I'm not getting confused and lost. Um, but obviously, if you need to, you can message me. Bloody hell, just spent over 50 quid to LCO Trading. Ooh. Well, it's so worth it. Oh, and another thing that might be coming, I was speaking to Lizzie and she was speaking with Mark today. Um, they may be stocking cake cream. Yay! So, perfect place to get both the sugar paste and the cake cream all in one. There's no need to go to multiple different people for loads of different things. So, don't forget, you can do little ones to fill the holes. Few, few people with this fibromyalgia. Yeah, it sounds awful. Yeah, it is awful. Pain for the rest of your life. Thought I had it. Thank God I do. Okay, so boiling water, uh, water, boiling water in your mug. Then you want to sit your palette knife in there for just a second. So what we're going to do, obviously, it looks a bit spiky and a bit wrong. We're just going to shape that and kind of mould it into a bit of an ice cream. It doesn't need to be perfect because what ice cream looks perfect, it's always got lines and bumps Mr. on it. Is. What? My pack won't open up. Do I need to have PDF? Um, if you pop me a message, sometimes when the website is really, really busy, 
it can sometimes glitch on download so if you pop me a message and I can manually resend it it's only when the website's really busy it does that is LCO your supplier for Bay Cologne? Um, no it will be Sugar Sisters Sugar but that's because I work well they're really really good friends and I work closely with them hi can you say hi Anna hi Anna hi Anna okay so as you can see we've just moulded it round and because the palette knife is hot it kind of melts the top layer so you're able to shift it and mould it with your palette knife to be fair I'd like my ice cream to look like that so you just loads of different dollops just like that so I'm just going to quickly get this over and done with don't what you can do between colours you can push it down and create more of a crevice sort of thing crevice so try start with the lighter colour, so white first, then go to green, then to pink. Start with your lighter colours first. Just be careful and make sure you dry your palette knife before you go anywhere near the sugar paste. You don't want any bits of water to dribble and ruin that airbrushing. So I'm just going to quickly get this done. I'm in a flare up now, the weather is killing Ooh. me off. Yes, I know that feeling very, very well. I had one earlier. I couldn't live like that. It's the same as me with my pots, babe, how heat affects me. Bye, I'm going to bed now. Bye, Hayley, Hayley, Milan, Milan. Have a lovely night, my darling. So again, just be nice and careful. When it starts to drag the cake cream too much, clean it off, warm it up again, then dry it, then crack on again. You want it smooth and not too over the top rounded, if that makes sense. You want it to look like ice cream. I've got arthritis and take eight tramadol a day. Oh God, I've got to say tramadol doesn't do a thing for me anymore. I've got to take eight cocodamol to even start to feel it. Can you remind me who does the metallic drip please? Can't for the life okay. of me remember. So the metallic drip that we kind of, I do admit and I apologise to you Dawn. I rushed through it because obviously Mark's elbow went in my cake. It is Dinky Doodle and it comes in gold, silver and rose gold. So it is, I will admit it's really runny so you only need a little bit. But if you want it thicker obviously let it set a bit. It's warmed up in the microwave. Let me have a look. I've ruined the bottle from sitting in water. Jesus. It's a cocoa butter based one. I've just killed the whole bag. I'll read that and put it all up again another time. But it is really good. I really liked it and to be quite honest, I'm never doing normal metallic painting or anything again. I will be using that every single time. And that's by Dawn Butler who owns Dinky Doodle. Could you not just use an ice cream scoop to put it on? You could if you wanted, however then you've got larger clumps on your cake and it might be too heavy. You don't want to make it so much where it dribbles down the cake. Here's but, a really important question for okay. you, Look, sorry. When are you going to finish your tiling by the kettle? I have OCD. <laughs> it's doing my head in and all, I've just not had time to do it. Between being poorly and then working, I've just not had the time. Looks bomb diggity, we had that last night didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Bomb digger there, kick it So I'm nearly done luckily. Just rounding them off. Luckily you don't have to do too much if you don't want to. Just where the piping sticks out a little bit, you can just flatten that and then you're done if you want to. Yes, the microwave works. <laughs> Love the dinky doodle airbrush too. Yes, I, it was one of the first airbrushes I ever owned. Yeah, I had Dinky Doodle and then you bought me a Lakeland one. You've gone off. Oh. You yeah, haven't. You're still here. I'm still there, my darling. It might just be a glitch on the internet. Good morning from Sydney, Australia. Off to oh, work now. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. Great live as always. Oh, thank you. Have a lovely day. Yep. So nearly done. Just the pinks and then we're done on that part. So tonight I'm also
also doing a £25 giveaway. So like and share for a chance to win. I'll be drawing yesterday's, Julie's and mine tomorrow. When are you letting us know who won the giveaway for last night? That is just... <laughs> yes, they're 30 seconds behind us. So that'll be done tomorrow, my darling, with tonight's and Julie's and yesterday's. So that's three chances. It's exciting. Yes. I hope I will. You bleed out. So like and share for a chance to win. That's £25 off anything on the website, which includes cake creams, the outbars, my packs, aprons. Watching while on holiday in Saint-Tropez, France. Ooh, I bet it's lovely there. How much would you charge for this cake? Uh, or how much you got? 50 quid. 50, 60 quid, I don't know. I've not really sat and thought about it. Stop uh, playing with your balls. What? What? Who said that? Oh, because I'm fiddling with the balls. Thunder okay. and heavy rain in Barrow on Furnace Ooh. right now. That's unfortunate. So, all done on that. So, anything that's dripped onto the board, make sure you remove it. Do you ever freeze cakes if you're mega busy? No, because my freezer's like that big, so I've literally got meat in there and that is it. So there is plenty of cake cream left, so I'll decorate some cupcakes or something with them. What, tonight? No, tomorrow. The kiddies wanted to do cupcakes, so I'll do cupcakes tomorrow with them. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm under these lights. It is hot. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside just to set a little bit while I cover a board. What are you covering it with? A... Sugar paste. Okay. So back to this, which is Perfect Cover by LCO Trading. Oh, Mark Tilly popped the link up further up higher. No, I'm not pinning it. We can't pin it. He's not. I don't know what that he's means. He's not got access to anything to pin it. It's not a donkey. <laughs> Do you have rain in Spain today? Bloody loved it. Was it on the plane? We were talking to the kids today about possibly booking a holiday to Spain. Yeah, as soon as you haven't got to wait two weeks in your house when you get back. No, I was thinking next year. Book for next year. I want to go to Lapland, mate. I'd love to go to Lapland. Where was it Jake wanted to go to? Epstein Island. No. Oh. Uh, when earlier? Yeah, Switzerland. Or... Switzerland, yeah. Where did you want to go, buddy? Oh, come on in then. You can come in while Mummy works. You're coming and sitting here for a bit, mate. Hi, sweet. Shall you? Say hello to everybody. Oh, you want to go to Mummy's Spain, where I told you about? Yeah. You can say hello to everybody. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Do you want to come and sit here with me, mate? <laughs> so he has had a late night. Come Usually he's in bed by now, but it's been fantastic, so we said he could stay up. Are you okay? Do you want to help me with the sweet stamp? Do you want to help me put the letters on? Do you remember Amy's letters? What you did on Nanny's cake? Yeah. Do you want to help me with that and show all the ladies and gentlemen how easy it is? Yeah. Yeah? There's no other way easier to show you how easy Ooh. something can be to do. Tired, mate. Let mummy cover your board for you then and then you can do the letters, can't you? It just means my battery power. Your battery power's nearly out. Iceland is great. You I'd prefer Sainsbury's, it. don't you? It's not that bit soft. Okay, so I've just wet my hands. Watch it, what, don't make you send Watch wire, mate. Watch out the wires, baby. There's a wire there. Well, you're going to be doing this in a minute, so you can stand next to me. You don't have to go to Daddy. Who wants to go to Yucky Daddy? Daddy only drinks vodka. <laughs> <laughs> well. He drinks vodka and beer. He does. <laughs> Your mucky daddy drinking mucky beer. He drinks some dirt beer. He's dirt, he drinks dirty beer, does he? Yeah. It's mucky beer in Yeah, we'll, we'll, not, we'll not go into that, though, will we? <laughs> you don't drink it very often, buddy, though. I don't. Oh, you're not meant to drink mucky adult beer. Uh, right. My, my Jake is the same age as yours and loves helping me make cakes, and is also Pokemon mad. Yeah. <laughs> we love Pokemons, don't we, Jake? There's a lot of people saying hello, yeah. mate. Lots of people saying hello. 
Can I see? Of course you can see. A mouse. Hello, Blue! <laughs> They're giving you loads of smiley faces and loads of thumbs up. They're probably giving you them thumbs up and smiley faces. for you, mate, now. They're for you. And hearts. Oh, they're for you. Lots of people like you. And I wonder if lots of these ladies can remember when you were so little and Mummy first started her lives when you used to run around me. I'm and talk. No, you're not blind. You numpty. <laughs> Steady on me. Watch out the wire. Do you want to do the sweet stamps? Yes, please. Yes, let mummy. No, let's do it without the cake. I don't drink vodka that regular. I only have one night a week off, apart from this week when it's two. So, then what shall we vodka. write, JK? What do you want to write? Patsy's and white. <laughs> 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 no, Patsy's we're not writing that. Do you want to write? Because look at our cake, it's an ice cream cake. What do you want to write? Ice cream is great. Ice cream is great. Okay, so mommy get the letters out. So stand here. Is your film still on, mate? Yep. Uh, shall we write something smaller? Yeah. Or should we just write ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> so there's it. Oh, are you going to put the letter on? Where did you get the rolling pin from? Sainsbury's. Patsy is right? No, Patsy's not moist. Not tonight, she's not. <laughs> Dear me, wait a minute. Okay. So, let's use something called the pick-up pad, which will help us. It's a pad for picking up. Yes. So, look, you put your letters on round the edge. So, there you go. Jake! Concentrate, come on. I see. Oh no, don't press it down yet. That's the next bit. There so you see. I'm a prey. Jake looks so uh, like uh, Excuse me. Hey. We don't swear. Right. Jake You're gonna looks put like them next to each other like How that. Because a few of them have seen you. Right? Then pop that on top. On top of the letters and press down just gently. There we. That's not gently, was it? Though really, mate. <laughs> You're a bit giddy now, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got a joke for you tomorrow. You've got a joke for me. Well, let's write ice cream and then you can go sit back down. So put your curvy cur a bit closer in line, okay? And then there's your r. Don't press them down. Just next to each other. Yep, that's it. Ah, that's upside down. That way. And then there's them. Shall we line them up a bit easier? So they look nice and pretty all together, like that. I'm just putting them further so they don't touch each other. That's fab. So there's your pickup pad. What do we do? Press it down. Put it on and press down, but not too hard. That's it. And lift it up. Ta da! <laughs> well done, give me five. For that. Is how easy that it is. is how easy it is. A seven-year-old little lad can do it. Painting stuff. You want to paint them? Oh dear. Oh dear. I like to do it rainbowing. I have uh, got stuff for rainbow. With airbrush, mate. No, he's not doing the airbrush. Well, how about you paint that tomorrow? Okay, oh. you can paint that tomorrow because mummy's not got that much time. I want to go get in bed. Mummy. Yes, mm. darling. I love you too, gorgeous boy. And how about I'll just go to sleep? We didn't get a chance to have a walk today. We can go we for a nice a big walk tomorrow. We? We'll take Milo for a wander tomorrow. What do you think? What no. do you think? Go feed the ducks? No, no feeding ducks. No ducks. The ducks can find food themselves. They can really. They, they can find food themselves. They, they, they eat spiders. Do they? They do. Okay, so I'm just putting a bit of water on there to stick the cake to. Do you want to go back in there then? Well, you're you finished. Film film say bye, everybody. You want to give me a love and then you can go to bed. I love you, buddy. Oh, Good night. Give Daddy a love. Yeah. You want what? It's cold upstairs. You need... Put your fan on in your bedroom. I'll bring that upstairs when I'm done. I promise. Okay? You can have the aircon in your room when you when I finish this, and we're nearly done. So you go upstairs, and I'll be up there soon to bring you bring you aircon. Love you. Stop crying. There's no need for you to cry. Jake. You don't need to cry. You're okay. You're okay. Wipe your eyes. One minute, guys.
Not really sure what went wrong there. I got a clue what happened there, that escalated right quick. He didn't want to leave us. So I'm just picking it up and moving it That's over. That's what you told me earlier. I know. It's okay. So rather than using a cake lifter, I use a meat cleaver. That way it doesn't drag everything out from underneath. And if your husband's elbow hits it, you've got something at hand. To stab them with? Yeah. Chop the hand off. So every cloud in that. Who is it for? It's for nobody. It's, it's for us. nobody, it's just stars. I'll let him paint that tomorrow as soon as I promise him. Quit my heart, lick the cake. <laughs> I will clean. <laughs> okay. Who so, do you want me to get fucked? Oh, don't be up. I'm just using normal chocolate chips stuck into the green ones to make mint chocolate chip ice cream. Crater is just tired. He's just tired. Need more air con units. Mark needs more shifts to do. Eh. <laughs> My cat's called Milo. Okay. So I'm just adding chocolate chips to make it a mint chocolate chip ice cream cake. That bit. Nice and randomly spaced in. I put the pointy part in because it just looks better when it's flush with the cream. I'm trying not to eat them as I go. Do you want a flake? Do I want no duck more right now? Okay. Trying to watch me figure. Yeah, alright then. After what you've just eaten, the tea, I feel awful that he cried because he didn't have air con in his bedroom. Where did you get your cake turner from? Oh, it's Sainsbury's. It was about four pounds. I know this bit's a bit tedious and boring, but it actually works, so I'm just getting it done quick. I'm missing a bag of M&M's, really. I don't think I've got a bag of M&M's. No, I'm missing one. What do you mean you're missing one? What did you have for tea? Um, what are they called? Sandwiches. No, <laughs> no it wasn't just a normal sandwich. On Man vs Food, when he's in America, there's like those baguettes filled with beef and onions and cheese and then dipped in the beef broth. That's They've got a name from over there, haven't they? But I can't remember what it was. Archetype, that's it. <laughs> but it, I decided to make that. Watching it hungry last night and decided it's what we were having today. Tomorrow we're having homemade chicken chow mein. Pulled beef, were not it? It was nice. Yes. Okay, so I've just got freeze dried strawberry bits to pop onto the pink. They're not very freeze dried. You need shares in Sainsbury's. I do. They're not very good today are there right then just pop little bits on your strawberry for the strawberry bits that's in proper strawberry ice cream oh Thamars can we please go to Thamars tomorrow if I was younger and asked my mum for air con oh god these messages sorry I will get no it's not a French dip that's the one French that's dip the one. if I was younger and asked my mum for air con she would have said oh put window wider Brilliant. Yeah. I bought it for the sake of cake. It's when I'm working and it's too hot. Trying to cover a cake with sugar paste just does not work. A bit like a Philly cheese steak, but no. Not a sloppy gel, no. Yeah, it's that French dip. I knew it was something French. It was like a Philly cheese slate, uh, slate, steak with slash French dip, weren't it? Yeah, it's French dip with proper roast beef or I think lamb. They're or called pork. sliders. No, they're mini burgers, aren't they? Yeah, I think they are. So, just adding some of these to the... Sloppy Joe. No, that, that was my ex-boyfriend's name. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. Right. We are nearly done now with the cake, luckily. I actually wish I could whip a cake out as quick as I do on my lives. But because I'm not constantly cleaning between everything and constantly washing my hands and... Rubbing your nose. Yeah, rubbing my nose. Which it's gone now, thank God. She absolutely me. Yeah. I think we're done on that How one. would you cut that? Well, I'd probably get a knife. Knife straight down. You can get 15 if you cut 
cut them down and through the middle. Right. I made haggis bonbins. Is that meant to say oh. bonbons? Tonight, for starters. Oh my goodness. Oh bloody hell, it's lightning in Glasgow. Oh god. Right. So I should only really need one. The back of that scar, isn't it? I've just realised I was going to make a wafer out of flour paste and I just totally forgot. A wafer. But it's hundreds right. and thousands. Of raspberry sauce. Sprinkles from yesterday. I had a surprise call saying my son was coming to visit and bringing three of my grandchildren. Oh. Can't wait to see them. Oh, that's lovely. Looks nice. Could I have a slice, Daniel and Mark, please? Who's that? The Anne Grout. That's the one that lives in Redford, I think. <laughs> this isn't. This isn't for anyone else except us, my darling. You don't want to eat this. Not when I've been scratching my face and everything. I don't want to give it anybody After else. After night, I'm going to have with it. Oh, Mark! Oh. You filthy frigger. <laughs> Mother sticker. Yeah. Got a little bit of glitter pump, the Sainsbury's one. And a little bit of shine. Sainsbury's. You can get other brands. There's Sugar Flare, which is absolutely brilliant, but I just picked this one up. I've used, all my down, I've used all my Sugar Flare ones, so I've just stuck with the Sainsbury's ones at the minute. I keep forgetting to add it onto my stock orders. Hungry now. <laughs> Otherwise it gets blocked and it's half empty. I've got to reshuffle it all down to the bottom under the tube. Looks delicious. Looks oh, thank yummy. You. Looks but amazing. How realistic is that ice cream compared to if I did it from buttercream? Buttercream's not shiny. And using sugar paste, it looks more real with this. Granted, I could have done bigger blobs wider and then shaped that and it might have looked a bit better might have looked a bit better. But I like all the little bits. Looks like there's more ice cream. Um Yes, so, oh my goodness, if any of you have recently seen, Finch Bakery has released how they do their amazing drips on the cakes. This stuff, chocolate spread, literally, I think it's 80p a jar from Tesco, microwave it in 10 second blasts and pipe with it and it does fantastic drips on cakes. And then they also have a white one which you can colour with oil based colours, so colour milk for example and it makes the perfect drip and you can also stick sprinkles to it after because it doesn't set fully hard like chocolate it still stays a little bit tacky so you can individually add to your marshmallows or sprinkles or anything you want to it and it's fab so let me just get this out of the And then in the microwave for 10 second blasts until it's runny. How many 10 second blasts? As many as required. How would you store it? The cake on the side in a box. Looks it's amazing. Tibetic coma. <laughs> so double sided tape and ribbons. Ribbons. How much would you charge for this? How much did you say earlier? 50 quid? 50, 60 quid? It depends. Um, I've not really sat and calculated it and worked it out, but actually no, I'd probably do 55 quid. Put you take your time, mate. No, yeah, take my time and do it properly, not constantly touching my face. So you do 10 second blasts, give it a minute or two to fully melt and combine all together. No, we didn't get a new microwave. It no. fixed itself. For some reason it started working again without going bang. What brand of spread is it? Stock Summit, isn't it? Stock. It's Tesco's cheapest one. Is it? But you can use any of the chocolate spreads you want, whichever you fancy. Um, but apparently Finch Baker said the Tesco one has worked best for them. I'm diabetic, so unfortunately I can't eat sweet stuff. Oh, such a shame now. I know obviously I you can have a, through it watching this. Then. I know you could eat a bit more and then obviously adjust your insulin. So that's what people usually recommend if someone asks for a diabetic cake. Did you put ice in your air con you? No, it's not one of those. It's um all built in, so 
literally plug it in and go empty it with water when you need to what do they that spread <laughs> so the spread i'm doing a dribble with i'm doing the chocolate sauce over the top just 10 second blasts in the microwave until it's running leave it for a minute or so and mix in it to fully combine so you don't get any lumps or thicker bits in your drizzle but it does fantastic drips on the side of cakes and um, we figured this from Finch Bakery who recently shared their little tip and everyone's gone mental buying it at Tesco so I literally bought as many as no I bought three or four of each <laughs> because they keep going out of stock so just to show you yeah, do you want something to... It's a lovely little drip. And it is still slowly going, but that's how you check your drips, be it the metallic from Dinky Doodle, these, any of the chocolate drips. It's fabulous, so... Where did you get your piping bags? Amazon, I believe. Amazon. It was 200 for about seven pounds. Where's the aircon unit from? B&Q, and &Q. what make is it? Um, they had seven, 70 odd quid off of it, which is fabulous. So I'm gonna do a little bit of drizzle down the cake, because what's the point in having an ice cream cone without chocolate that drips everywhere? Oh, sticky fingers. <laughs> I'm on about ice cream as well. Yeah, this, right this time. No, there's no worse than sticky fingers with ice cream. You can clean Lucy if we go to Thamos tomorrow then. I'm not good. <laughs> yeah, I'll go in. Oh. So yeah, lovely little chocolate drips. And I could pipe the rest of that back into the jar and let it set again if I wanted to, but I'm just going to put it there because I'll use it later on. For eating. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh. I don't care, I will lick the cake if I have to. The cake is for us. So obviously, with customers' cakes, I obviously don't touch my face. I've got apron, I've got hair nets on, I'm gloved up to fuck. Constantly washing hands even though I'm gloved. Constantly cleaning. So this is nothing like a normal order. But for the fact of I want to get it done nice and quick, so you don't want a four or five hour long live. Fucking don't. Constantly watching me cleaning. Do you need oil paint to colour the white drip or any colouring? Um, preferably oil based so a colour milk will work perfectly I believe um, colour splash might work as well but preferably use colour milk it's Your oil based <laughs> and it colours chocolate it's great to have in your box ready as you saw yesterday it colours cookies as well you're so talented crowd goes ah <laughs> that drip has finished it right off So just going around, obviously I'll let Jakey paint it tomorrow, the writing, because I did promise him. Right. Don't you need to demonstrate that then, no? What? The dripping cake painting. No. It's nice and easy to paint. I showed it yesterday with the sweet stamps anyway. So I'll be letting Jakey use the sweet sticks colour palette and letting him do rainbow how he wanted, bless him. Sheila Scarborough, thank you so much. Well, thanks, Sheila. No, so Someone commented. I did that. My mood is saying thank you so much to her. Oh, she probably helped somewhere. Thanks, Sheila, for helping, babe. What is that white tape you've just put on first? Ah! Oh, oh no! So the tape off. is double sided tape. You can get it from Hobbycraft, Amazon. Anyway. Um, Tesco do a thicker one, so you'd have to cut that in half as you're using it. Okay, so that is my cake. Nice and pretty. Bring it closer to the camera so you can see. Sorry to hear about the post office. You shouldn't have to explain. Oh, who read that then? <laughs> Claire, Claire Rooney. Oh, yes, I put, um, when I put that bad thing on earlier. Proper arguing with me over my own disability. You need to prove you've got a disability. Or pay government 55 quid for a car yeah, to say you've got it. He was saying to me, why don't you get the uh, free one? I went, the free one that anybody can print and it doesn't prove you have something wrong. I'm gonna get one. The proper one which proves who you are and what you've got wrong is 55 quid from the government. But I'm not paying 55 quid for an asshole to tell me I've not got a condition wrong with me. Cherry on top, question <laughs> mark. No. Pardon? Cherry on top. Uh, yeah, let's do a cherry. Let's do a cherry, let's find I, some. I don't know, I think they needed, they meant like a proper cherry. 
I haven't got a real cherry. Real pop one. So let's use cornmeal red. I was going to do a wafer with flour paste, but I totally forgot to make the wafer in time for it to dry for now. Oh, was... that Sheila Scarborough told her the name of the drip because she works at Tesla. Right. Yes. So for the drip, I literally use that Stockwell. You can use any of the other brands. Um, pass me that white jar down there, baby. That's unfortunate working at Tesco. <laughs> this one, though. Yes, babe. Or you can use the white chocolate spread and colour that one to have a coloured drip. And that tip, that tip was from the lovely Finch Bakery. So thank you. Okay, so I've just used a little bit of colour mill in here. Try not to stain my hands too red. Look like I've murdered him in the morning. Neighbours will ask me if he's alive. I got my son the lanyard and a card for about two pounds for hidden disability. Um, for the sunflower lanyard, yes. Um, well, I've got some for my little boy, but anyone can buy them. Anyone can say the exempt from everything and show that. Whereas the official stuff that proves which I actually needed at Sainsbury's. Um, I got a letter which cost me 18 quid from the doctor. I went to the garage the other day on my way to work. Oh, they're assholes in Forgot there. my mask. You can't come in. And all I had to, all I had to say were, I'm exempt and that were yeah. it. Oh, all right, mate, sorry. Get your head in there. But yeah, they want you to wear a mask, but they won't have you wearing your motorbike helmet, which yeah. has a big filter on the fucker in front anyway. Or my burka. No, I... I watched a video earlier, someone shared one where they told them to take the burka off and I thought that was horrible. Take your burka off and put a mask on. What's the difference? There isn't. I know on our Lawwood, on Lawwood's door, they've got a thing saying if you've got a burka that's fine, that counts as a mask because it's a face covering technically and it's better than some of the masks that people have been wearing and selling anyway. Look like I've killed someone, just one second. It's all right saying you need to wear a mask now, four months after it first started. I like saying put a condom on when you're at baby shower. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bit like. Put a Johnny on while you're at baby shower. Are you going to show your face tonight, Mark? Yeah, come on, baby. Come say it now. No, fuck him. <laughs> you nasty fucker. Right. Because I'm going to cheat, I'm just going to stick a wire and colour that on top for the squid. I haven't done my makeup for a while, so I can't. Normally I do a bit of flower paste on top for the ring on the cherry. What's hidden disability? Hidden Disabilities that you can't see. Yes, so I've got postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, also known as POTS. So basically it's a fucked up nerve in my neck. My, my body doesn't recognise when I stand up, so the blood pulls in my legs and I pass out, I go deaf, I go blind. You die. I remember <laughs> walking in from work and your heart had stopped. Uh, yeah. It's not very nice, or fibromyalgia, um, Ehlers-Danos Syndrome, there's a lot of things, so um, something that obviously counts as a disability but you can't see it, so when I'm walking down the street people think I'm absolutely fine, so when I turn around and say well actually I can't queue, I can't wear a mask, people think what the fuck, can't stand up it's a me. hidden disability, so I look normal but really I'm dying inside, in simple words. If you stand up, you've got to walk about. Oh, God help you if I need to walk. I can't walk for long anyway. Right, so I'm just going to cover this in chocolate just to make it brown. Karina Devlin said I got diagnosed with POTS in 2015. It's horrible, isn't it? Okay, so there we go. That is our cake for tonight. So again, the we use the sugar sugar paste from LCO Trading. Let me grab the box so you can see it. From LCO Trading, and it's called Perfect Cover. If you look further up the comments, Mark T Mark Tilly did put the link on for where to buy it. I think he's put it three times. He's put it a couple of times. Yeah. Um, the cake cream is by Sugar Sisters by Emily. Um, you can obviously buy it with her, but I do stock certain colours. I ordered 60 more bags today because 50 odd sold in less than three days. 
Um, so I've just bought another smallish order and I will be buying a much larger order when I'm definite that people are happy with it, like ordering from me, because I don't want to buy loads and be stuck with loads in a box. If Danielle can do this live with pots, you could show your face. Ah, oh, what she hasn't told you is I bought... I ain't got any legs. Fuck! Right. For the board we used bubblegum sweet stamp, which Jakey will be painting tomorrow using sweet sticks. Um, the colours for the cherry and for the green were colour mill, which is fabulous and it's oil based. So that colours chocolate, ganache, cake cream, sugar paste, um, drips. It's oil based so it'll cover most things, it'll colour most things. Um, the sprinkles I made myself but if you message Sprinkle Tits I sent you a photo of the mixer. Sprinkle Tits! Antonia Maria who owns Fucking Sprinkle Tits. Fucking hell fire. I sent her a photo so she can replicate that and make that for you to order if you want. I know she was back at work today. The drip was the Stockwell chocolate spread and I don't think there's anything else to tell you. <laughs> That so is yes. the first time I've seen somebody actually spell out supercalifragilistic yeah. <laughs> So yes, thank you everybody for joining us. Please remember it's a like and share for a win to, for a chance to win a £25 voucher for my website. Or be winter coat. Anything you want. Um, I will be drawing this tomorrow, say 9 o'clock. No, let's do it at dinner time tomorrow. No, actually, because we might be out with the kids. Whenever you fucking like. Let's do it at 8 pm when the kids are in bed. So, 8 o'clock tomorrow night, I will draw the winners for tonight's like and share, yesterday's like and share on the live, and also the one in the private group, the Cussing Caker, which was on Julie's live. So, all three will be picked tomorrow. All three is a chance to win a £25 voucher, which you can spend on anything. I do custom aprons, all designed, all nice and pretty, and the cake cream, my own swearing stamps. Um, Karma Sutra Outboss, all the information packs of recipes, everything on the websites are included. There's nothing excluded on that. We couldn't afford a speed belt this week for prize, could we do? He hates when I constantly do giveaways. So yes, thank you so much everybody for joining tonight. If there's any questions which Mark has more than likely missed. No, I'll be fine for I will right. I will answer them later. Right, can you say goodbye? So Bye. this is Mark. <laughs> If they could actually see you on the screen. <gasps> it was falling off, though. It wasn't it falling, was falling off! Off. It was falling off. It wasn't it was falling fall off. All right, was well. you going to steal it, really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to steal it. Thank you. That's You're all. You're very welcome, That's all you needed to say. I offered you one earlier. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> so, yes, thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. I've really enjoyed making this. and Oh, yes. And the airbrush was Spectrum Flow. The airbrush black was rainbow dust. So yeah, sorry, I forgot about them products. Everything that I use, I tried to tell you so you can see for yourself. Um, I'm only happy recommending products that I love and I recommend everything that I've used tonight. So yes, thank you everybody for joining us and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for the draw. Thank you. Ta-da. Yes, you remembered to press the button. Yeah, but I can't find the fucking button. I can't press the button. Move your fingers. I've got fat fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, fat finger. Right, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Ah, I can't even do it tonight. <laughs>